I'm clicking burgers out in the back, Liz. And Odie's playing with the squirrels again. <laughs> oh, and I brought my binoculars out so I could study any birds that... Hey, where'd my binoculars go? Let's see if there's anything edible going on in the neighborhood. Doesn't look like Mr. Fusilli is having pizza delivered. Nope. Mrs. Krell isn't baking pies and putting them on her window ledge to cool and mysteriously disappear. Hmm. Uh-oh, those guys again. Al and Pete, the worst dog catchers in the business. Doing great, boss. Catching strays all over the place. All it took was promising us that big cash bonus for everyone we bring in. Good. Remember, though, my offer expires this afternoon. Bye. Whoa, I can't wait to collect that money. Hey, there's one. <sighs> hey, you guys. <laughs> you couldn't catch a hot dog in a bun. Let's get him! Uh, technically we can't. He's not a stray. He's on his master's property. No, oh, well. Plenty more dogs and cats out there to catch. Let's go! <laughs> Amazingly, they actually seem to have caught some. Arrivederci, guys! Are, are they gone? Myron, why are you hiding? They're hunting down every stray dog and cat they can find. They're getting bonuses for every one of us they catch. That's awful. But don't worry, Myron. I'll do everything I can to protect you and all the strays. Garfield, lunch is ready. Lunch? <laughs> Just stay out of their way. Bye-bye. <laughs> Squirrels, Odie. That means more lunch for a certain orange cat. But the squirrels, we have an emergency. Hurry, we need you down there. Hmm? Bye. Garfield, how many burgers do you want? Well, how many you got? Huh? What? Must be my stomach. I haven't eaten since noon, and it's almost 12:45. <laughs> It sure is. I have six empty buns and nothing to put in them. I'm going to call the gardener, or a geologist, or someone! Whoever you call, see if he can stop on his way here and pick up some burgers. Uh-oh, I don't like this. Someone once said that cats always land on their feet. I'd like to have a word with that person. This is a tunnel. Who would dig a tunnel right under our house? Oh, oh my, oh my. This isn't good. I'm days behind schedule. Knock, knock. Anybody there? You there. I must ask you to leave. This is a construction site, and I must resume my digging. You're digging? What digging? I'm digging an underground expressway for my fellow moles. Huh? A network of them, actually. We have a hard time going from one place to another. The main reason being that we can't often see where we're going. See these lines? They represent tunnels that will allow moles to travel quickly and safely all over, I mean, under the city. And this is the tunnel I'm digging right now. <laughs> Great, isn't it? Not very. Your tunnel collapsed our entire backyard. And not only that, 
You ruined my lunch. Sorry, but there is a price we pay for progress. Back to work. Wait, we need to talk. Or not. Ooh. Mm. You know, John, doesn't make a bad hamburger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Garfield, those dog catchers have become cat catchers. <laughs> They're getting some big bonus for rounding up all us strays. You gotta hide me. I'm busy, Harry, but go hide behind the garage. What a pal. Whoa! Oh. Yes. Get him! Oh, no! That big bonus is getting larger and larger. <laughs> Garfield, we need your help. Who doesn't? Someone's digging a tunnel that's destroying our tunnels, where we live. If he doesn't stop, we'll all have to move far away. <laughs> Don't worry, Odie. You won't lose your little squirrel friends. I've got an idea. I have to go draw up some plans and then... Hey, Digger, I hope you're happy. The squirrels are going to have to move away. Sorry, but one cannot stand in the way of progress. Before you destroy our home, we thought you'd enjoy a little farewell show. Just to show there's no hard feeling. Mm -hmm. eh, I have work to do. Tunnels to dig. <laughs> all right, all right. But only a short show. Okay, guys. Here we go! It was amazing, but now I have to get back to work. Hmm. Okay, guys, show's over. Our friend has a tunnel to dig. <laughs> Bye. 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 Happy digging. Okay, let's see which way I dig next. Oh dear, I've been digging the wrong way. How terrible. I dug east when I should have dug west. Oh, now I'm really going to be behind schedule. Where's the new tunnel going, Garfield? Well, you'll see. Let's see. Now I go left. I don't remember the route going this way, but maps are never wrong. <laughs> We'll never get out of here. I thought Garfield would do something, but I guess he doesn't care about us. Oh dear, this can't be where I was supposed to dig. Oh, it's exactly where you're supposed to dig. <laughs> Come on! Yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> Last one out has fleas. Where do you see how many dogs and cats we caught, boss? You're gonna have to pay us such a bonus. We'll see. We'll see. Uh. Yeah, right. Absolutely full. But, 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 but it was full. It was. You two are the worst dog and cat catchers I've ever seen in my life. You're fired! 
Turn in your nets and get out! <laughs> Thanks, Garfield. We owe you one. We owe you a lot more than one. Always glad to help. And now I am hopelessly lost. Don't worry. Let me have that plan. I took the liberty of drawing up a new map for you, and I, uh, <clears throat> I even got it approved by the Mole Planning Council. Ooh, I have a lot of digging to do, but I won't stop until it's done. Bye, all of you. Where's he digging, Garfield? Yeah, where, where does the new tunnel go? Well, let's put it this way. In about 18 months, we'll be able to go down this hole and bring back Chinese food. Authentic Chinese food. Day. You feel like moving, Odie? Uh -uh. Yeah, me neither. There's nothing that could get us off this floor. I'm packing for the trip tomorrow. Three glorious days at the beach. The beach? Uh -huh. I'll get the barbecue. You get the hamburgers and franks and ribs and lasagna. Can you barbecue lasagna? No, huh? you two are not going. Liz and I are going. I promised Liz a vacation with just the two of us. You two are going to stay with Aunt Ivy till I get back. Aunt Ivy! Aunt Ivy! No, no, not Aunt Ivy. Take us to a kennel. Take us to a prison. Put us up for auction on the internet. But don't leave us with Aunt Ivy. You're staying with Aunt Ivy while Liz and I visit the beach. <laughs> that is, if it doesn't rain. Come on, Odie. Let's go check on the chance of rain. Please. Oh, please. Chance of rain. Please, chance of rain. It's going to be a gorgeous summer, folks. Nothing but blue skies and sunshine for the next six weeks across the entire Western Hemisphere. Chance of rain, zero. We are so doomed. And now, if you'll excuse me, surf's up. Ta da! It's no use. Tomorrow morning is the end of life as we know it. Aunt Ivy. Bring me my lunch! Ain't my garage! Tweeze my nose hairs! Saved, Odie. We're saved. I'm trying.
trying something new, Agnes. I figure if I deliver to the Arbuckle house early enough, that cat won't be up yet and I'll be safe. Well, weird things happen at that house. Oh, what do you mean, weird things? What kind of weird things, Herman? Uh, Herman? I can't understand it, Liz. Earlier today, it was like it was only raining over our house here. Now it looks like it's spreading everywhere. They said clear and sunny for the next few weeks, but now they're changing their tune. Well, guess the joke's on us, people. Looks like six weeks of the wettest weather ever across the Western Hemisphere. Sorry about those picnics. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's letting up for a while. But I guess our plans for the beach are off. I wonder what caused this change in the weather. Now what's he up to? <coughs> It's one of those garden gnomes. Stupid looking statue. <laughs> John's always buying dumb stuff like that. <laughs> Last month, he bought an indoor plastic bird bath. John's stupid looking statue. It isn't one. Oh, no. <laughs> Meow. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring all this bad weather. I accidentally left the tunnel door open. What tunnel door? You brought this? Who are you? Hi, my name's Paddy. A leprechaun I be from the Emerald Land of Ireland. You don't know where Ireland is, Odie? Why, it's, it's, uh, uh... Where is Ireland? Long ago and far away, we say. Here. <laughs> Ireland is an island in Europe close to Britain. Whoa! <gasps> and as you can see, it's always... It's always... <laughs> raining there, which is why all of us have colds all the time. So, what's this tunnel you were talking about? To get out of the rain, we leprechauns dug underground express tunnels. Through them, we can go all over to warm, sunny countries during the summer. Yesterday, I took an old tunnel, one that hadn't been used in decades, you see, and I came here. Come right under your fireplace. But I forgot to close the door. So this is... Huh. Ireland, Sweater, it came through the tunnel with me and got loose. Huh? Ah. So, if we have Ireland's weather, where's our weather? I'm coming to you from a secret hiding place where that angry mob can't find me. The weather is terrible all over this hemisphere. In fact, the only place in the world which has clear, sunny weather is... Ireland? Ireland? Oh, <laughs> Ooh, that sounds great, John. I've always wanted to see Ireland, but it was always too wet. I hope you're still packed, because I just booked the tickets and our plane leaves in four hours. Garfield! It's clear and sunny in Ireland! <laughs> Ireland has our weather. I should have never left that door open in the tunnel. Liz and I are going to vacation there instead. <laughs> Liz and John are going on vacation. You know what that means, Odie? Work faster, you worthless animals! John, how could you do this to us? 
After this, you're gonna wash the windows, do the laundry, beat the rugs, clean the grease trap, stack the firewood, scrub the bathroom, trim my toenails, and take out the garbage. But, but... And I know, you just took out the garbage, but I've been having my neighbors bring all of their garbage over here just so you can take it out. <laughs> It's lunchtime. I suppose you two want to eat. <laughs> Too bad! I can't take any more of this, Odie. Cats weren't meant to do degrading, dirty labor. That's why they invented human beings. Oh, there's got to be a way out of this. There's just got to be. In here, my laddies. You have a tunnel here? We have them everywhere. <laughs> so, you want to join your friends in Ireland? We can. Well, anything to get away from Aunt Ivy. What happened? This old engine runs on leprechaun magic. I'll have you there in a wee instant. John, Ireland is beautiful. And we have beautiful weather. Okay, Aunt Ivy, thanks for calling. Aunt Ivy says Garfield and Odie have disappeared. Disappeared? When did this happen? About five minutes ago. Well, that's awful. Where could they possibly be? I don't know. And it's not like I can find them over here. Surprise! How did, I mean, what, it, how? Mmm, they have good corned beef here in Ireland. Mm. Garfield, how did you and Odie... Ah! Ah! Oh! Is this our bad weather from back home? Oh, I'm afraid so. I forgot to close the tunnel door again. Oh, well, at least it looks like Ireland again here. And it sure beats hanging out with Aunt Ivy. Calm down, Odie. It's just a little shot. <laughs> What's the matter? Afraid of a shot, scaredy pup? Show a little bravery, why don't you? All done. <laughs> See? Now that wasn't so bad. But he was so terrified, so frightened. What a big baby. Say, while Garfield's here, we might as well give him his shot. Well, now there's a good idea. Save a trip back here. Just give me my shot. <laughs> <laughs> Garfield, come back here! <laughs> My word! What is that ghastly noise? All done. 
Get me an attorney. Get me an attorney named Murray. Call the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to me. Call. All done? Huh? That wasn't so bad. Huh? Excuse me, who is the veterinarian? I am. How can I help you? Oh, well, you can't help me. <laughs> I'm Mrs. Van Gelt, and I'm so frightfully rich I don't need any help. But you can help poor Prince Orloff here. Hello, Prince Orloff. What seems to be wrong with him? He coughed. Twice, I'm afraid. Quick, get an ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> Prince Orloff's regular physician is away. I'm counting on you to cure my precious widow baby dumpling. Uh, Mrs. Van Gelt, I can already tell there's nothing wrong with your precious widow baby dumpling, except he needs to exercise. What? This is my cat Garfield. <laughs> he doesn't just sit around the house all day. He tries to. Well, I wouldn't want any cat of mine to turn out like... Like that. A cat needs to run and play. I'll have you know Prince Orloff's delicate paws do not touch ground. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe it's time they did. Well, I can see you're not the proper physician for Prince Orloff. Come, Dawes. Let us take Prince Orloff home and put him to bed. Yes, madam. Can you imagine a cat living like that? Being carried everywhere and waited on all the time? Yeah, I'm working on it. Oh, I think I need to get home. Is Prince Orloff comfortable, Dawes? I placed him gently on the rear seat. Oh! I'm... I'm standing. I'm not on one of those silly pillows. And now... Oh, look at me, I'm walking. I am, I'm walking. Oh, mother, if only you could see me. I'm actually doing something for myself. You know, Oster, it sure would be great to have a life like that. Servants waiting on you, bringing you food whenever you're hungry. Here's your lunch, Garfield. Oh, and I washed and fluffed the cushions in your bed. Yeah, wouldn't it be nice to have someone wait on you all the time? Oh, it's awful! Huh? Oh, you feel so helpless, always dependent on someone else. What are you doing off your pillow? I couldn't take any more of being waited on like that. I don't ever want to live in a mansion again. Although, I am kind of hungry. Where do they feed you there? Well, last night we had lobster thermidor a crevette with a Mornay sauce and a raspberry tiramisu. Huh? Here, try some of this. It's better. <laughs> that? Well, that's the greatest food I've ever had in my life. What's it called? It's a rare imported delicacy we call lasagna. Here, I have eight more coming out. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. So what do you do for fun? Mm. For fun? I thought so. Come on, I'll show you what the word means. Oh! 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 Whee! Let's do that again! <laughs> Whee! Harder, Odie! Push me harder! <laughs> You're supposed to watch him every minute! I'm sorry, Mrs. Van Gelt. I shall call the police. Your call is important to us, so stay alive. Tell them to search everywhere! My precious dumpling can't be alone for one second! Oh, this is wonderful! She never let me watch. Uh, what do you call this again? Television. Oh, she never let me watch television before. 
What is this wonderful program I'm enjoying so? It's called a deodorant commercial. Oh, I'll have to try that if I ever sweat. I'm going out. See you later, Garfield. Uh, see you later, Odie. Oh. See you later, Prince Orloff. <laughs> Prince Orloff! Ah! That, that woman who owns him is probably frantic. <laughs> Hello, Liz. Remember that cat they brought into your clinic? Uh, the one on the pillow? He's what, John? At your house? What is Prince Orloff doing at your house? Quick! Huh? Give us the address. <laughs> I'll take you down to Vito's and introduce you to the wonders of pepperoni and mushroom pizza. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm having so much fun, Garfield. I'm never going back to that mansion. <laughs> For some reason, I think you are. Never! Stop! We had to bring you back! Stop him! Bring my widow baby back to me! I'll bet he's going back to the park. Come on, Odie. We can take a shortcut. My baby! Why has my baby run away from me like this? More fun than watching the odor in commercials. <laughs> ah, he's up there. <laughs> well, we're gonna get him down. Now we're gonna do really well, well, I think we gotta get him. Prince Orloff, you come down from that tree right this minute! Oh, I climbed a tree. Look, look, I, I actually went out on a limb. <laughs> Madam, there's something off about Prince Orloff. He looks different. He does? Something about his face? I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> A smile? Why, why, yes, that's it. He's smiling. I've never seen him smile before. <laughs> Could he possibly be happy? That would be my prescription for your cat, Mrs. Van Gelt. A little less pampering, a little more life. Hey, uh, Sergeant, how do we write up a report on this? Yeah, we don't. The Chief would never believe it. We were right. He is smiling. Oh, my little prince. We have to make sure you get some fun in your life and you don't just sit on a pillow all day. Whee! Well, Garfield, looks like you helped rescue your friend from living in a mansion, being waited on, and never getting to get out and live. Yeah, I bet you'd hate a life like that, wouldn't you, Garfield? <laughs> I said I bet you'd hate a life like that, wouldn't you, Garfield? I'm thinking it over. <laughs>
Hello there. If you're waiting for something exciting to happen, forget it. This is an 11 and a half minute cartoon and I'm gonna take an 11 and a half minute nap. Oh, and Odie's not here. He's visiting John's brother out at the farm. <sighs> oh, had John's at work so nothing can bother me. <sighs> Garfield! Wait till you see what I've got here. I don't know what it is, but I'll bet it's a storyline. I brought you a new friend. Thought you could use the company while Odie is staying at Doc Boy's farm. <laughs> John thinks I'm missing this. And this. And this. My editor is out of town, but he's letting me take care of... Ta-da! His parrot, Paxton! <laughs> Aren't you excited, Garfield? Paxton talks! Go ahead, Paxton. Say something. You call this a house? It looks like it was built to store fertilizer for the rest of the world. Uh, <laughs> and this furniture! If you ever want to get rid of it, you'll have to have it reupholstered before the dump will accept it. My editor left the country and didn't take Paxton along. I can see why. Well, I'll let you guys get to know each other. I have work to do. So, Garfield, what do you do all day? A lot of this. At first, I didn't know it was a cat. I thought it was a hairy basketball. That's right. I'm taking care of my boss's parrot, Doc Boy. Hey, how's Odie? <laughs> As you can hear, he's doing great. So, what's this parrot like? Well, he's kind of funny in his own odd way. Right now, he's probably spreading joy all over the neighborhood. Did you know that 62.3% of all mail contains bad news? No. no, I didn't know. I've been delivering mail for 37 years. Well, don't worry. You won't have that job much longer. Email is already making you obsolete. It is. <laughs> I'll be bringing Odie home later today. Okay, I gotta go. I think my mail's here. See you later, Doc Boy. <laughs> Hello? Don't call me Doc Boy! What was I going to do next? Oh, right, the mail. <laughs> Herman, what's wrong? <laughs> Here's your mail, Mr. Arbuckle. I'm sorry, 62.3% of it is bad news. But don't worry, I won't have this job much longer. I'm obsolete. Did you hear something? If I didn't know better, I'd think it sounds like mice crying. <laughs> and have you seen what they're putting in cheese these days? Plus, they're building better mouse traps. I'm just saying. <laughs> and remember, even though Garfield won't eat you, there are plenty of cats out there who will. Paxton, why do you always look at the bad side of everything? Why? Why? Come on, I'll show you why. Watch this. Good afternoon. It's four o'clock and I'm Sylvia Tuba Player with the six o'clock news. Our top headlines. Today in the world, this happened. <gasps> and in another part of the world, this happened. <gasps> and in several other parts of the world, this happened. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, in the stock market. Just trust me, you don't want to know. Oh, that's so depressing. I'll call Liz and see what she recommends. Haven't you ever had fun? Haven't you ever laughed? Well, I'm going to do it. I'm going to make you laugh. Music, maestro. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
Isn't that hilarious? Laugh! I thought I'd never start! You should leave comedy to the pros and stick to what you do best! You are about to become an ex-parent. Liz suggests we take him to Dr. Whipple. You're not taking me to any doctor! <laughs> Wait! Come back! Good riddance. Having him around was too depressing. Oh, if I lose my boss's parrot, he'll fire me! That's even more depressing. Oh. Search the neighborhood! I'll go this way, you go that way! <laughs> we just need to follow the trail of depressed people. <laughs> it's just awful! A parrot told me that I, Eddie Gorman with a capital G, the world's most famous food critic, is grossly overweight, maybe a few pounds. Oh, it's awful! A parrot just told me that I'm putting on so much weight, I've started to look like Eddie Gorman, the world's famous food critic. <laughs> Oh, it's awful. A parrot just told me that I'm annoying and conceited and that I make some people physically sick just to have me around. Hey, when he's right, he's right. <laughs> and there's so much mercury in a fish, you can take your temperature with a hell of it. I never knew everything was so awful. <laughs> oh, not only that, but the air that we... <laughs> We're taking you to see Dr. Whipple. And if you're nice, John will buy you some ice cream. Oh, great. I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> All right, now, just lie there and tell me how you got to be so utterly and totally negative. Well... I guess it all started when I was an egg. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My mother started passing out recipes for omelets. What? That's awful. Dr. Whipple will cure Paxton's down in the mouth outlook. He's a brilliant man and very strong. Here. <laughs> Take this poor parrot home. I can't help him. <laughs> I can't even help myself. <laughs> Oh, this is... this is terrible! Hey, if you really feel like crying, wait till you see the bill you're gonna get for this! Uh. <laughs> and not only is this planet doomed, but have you seen the full TV schedule? <laughs> Even massive quantities of lasagna couldn't cheer me up now. Can't you think good thoughts about anything? What? <laughs> Name me one thing in this world that's pure and innocent and happy. Huh? John, I brought Odie back. <laughs> hey, I'm glad to see you too, boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, e even I'll admit I'm glad to see you too. Huh? Odie, this is our new friend Paxton the parrot. Hey, 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 knock it off, mutt! You don't know where that tongue's been. It's unsanitary. It's messy. It's it's uh, it's kinda nice in a way. <laughs> Is he always this happy? Hey, you think this is happy? Try throwing a stick he can fetch. He'll be your best friend forever. Gee, I never had a best friend. I never had a friend of any kind. Huh? Aww. Looks like you've got one now. <laughs> What's this all about, John? 
I'm not sure. <laughs> it's about a parrot who's finding a whole new way to look at the world. Wow! It's been six months since my boss took Paxton back, and now I can't believe that parrot has his own TV show. What's so odd about that? I have my own TV show, and a darn good one at that. And now, here he is, the most popular motivational speaker parrot in the entire world, Paxton. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. You're beautiful. And you know what else is, people? Life is. You just have to know where to look. I'll be talking about that on today's show, about how there's wonderment and love and happiness out there if you just let it in. But first, I want to dedicate tonight's show to my best friend forever, Odie the Puppy. Hiya, Odie. Odie, that's you. Well, the 11 and a half minutes is almost up, so this is the end of the cartoon. I'll just add that Paxton's right. Life is great. But it's even better with pizza. Consider how amazing the Earth is. How fascinating each and every person on it can be. in five minutes, Garfield. We should have never let computers control so much of our lives. We could have stopped them from enslaving us if only we had... Could have stopped them if what? How could we have stopped them? TV? I want my TV. Come back, come back. Picture, huh? Ah, looks like the cable's out again. I'll go call. How could you leave me like this? Haven't I been an attentive friend? Haven't I watched you like night and day? You have reached the cable TV company. Press one to start. For English, press two. For tech support, press nine. If you live on the west side, press four. I hope they hurry. I have to find out how to stop the computers from enslaving us. Press 8 if your last name begins with the letters A through M. Oh. Garfield, I have to go check the casserole. Listen on the phone and let me know when a human being comes on the line. That could take months. I'm not sure they have any at that company. Press 5 if your TV set is color. Press 2-9 if there is a potted plant on top of your TV set. Press 316 if it is a fern. Huh? Boy, they want to know everything. Your call is important to us, so stay on the line. That's so comforting to hear. Your call is important to us, so stay on the line. Oh. Your call is important to us, so stay on the line. If it's so important to you, why don't you take it? Press 8 if you're fed up with listening to this terrible music. <gasps> Press 7-7 seven, seven if your eyelids are getting heavy. <laughs> Press 9 if you're about to have a dream sequence. Your call is important to us, so stay on the line. <laughs> Press 5 if you would like a pizza. <laughs> yes. Press 9 
if you would like pepperoni. Of course. Uh... You have ordered pepperoni. Press three if you would like extra cheese. Uh... I want extra, extra, extra cheese. You have ordered extra, extra, extra cheese. Press five if you would like anchovies. No, 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 I don't want anchovies. You have ordered anchovies. Huh? No, I didn't order anchovies. <laughs> you have ordered more anchovies. No, I don't want more anchovies. <sighs> How do I get rid of anchovies? <sighs> you have ordered tons of anchovies. <laughs> no! <sighs> I have to get out of that house. Press nine if you would like to get out of that house. <laughs> Hey, leave me alone. Your call is important to us, so stay on the line. Your call will be answered in the order received. How can I get across the street? If you would like to cross the street, press 4. So bad. If you would like to send Nermal to the planet Beta Blue in the Freen Galaxy, press <laughs> two six. <laughs> I'm beginning to like this. <laughs> I've stopped liking this. How do I stop a herd of charging elephants? Well, if you would like to stop a herd of charging elephants, press 5, 2, 8, 7, 8, 8, 9, 4, 2, 4, 9, 3, 8, 8, 9, oh, no. 2, 8, 2, 1, 4, 8, 9, 2, 6, 9, 4, 2, 4, 9, 1, 9, 7, 4, yeah. I needed that. I really needed that. I can't talk to you now. I have to get back on hold. How long have you been on hold? I don't know. What year is this? You've been on hold as long as I've been on hold. 63 years. 63 years? Why don't you just hang up? Can't I lose my place? They're going to answer my call in the order in which it was received. We've all oh. been here so long, waiting on hold. None of us even remember who we're waiting to have pick up on the other end. I'm not sure, but I think I was ordering a surfboard. Something has to be done about this. I need to come up with a brilliant idea. If you would like a brilliant idea, press 7. <gasps> As you can see, I have a brilliant idea. And this isn't an old-fashioned brilliant idea. No, sir. This is one of those long-life, energy-saving brilliant ideas. No, oh, you can't reason with them. There's nobody to talk to. Then I'll have to find someone I can talk to. I'll have to find a human being. <gasps> but there aren't any. Someplace there's one, and I'm gonna find him. <laughs> if you would like to find him, press five, one. See? Huh? <laughs> press five if you would like a pizza. <laughs> okay, so where's this human being? Human being! There he is! If you would like 
would like to go in where the human is, press 1. If you would like to go to the South Pole, press 2. Oh no, I meant to press 1. I would like to go back where I was. If you would like to go back where you were, press 7. Oh. Enough! I am now going to talk with an actual human being. Hey, where are the humans? Humans? There are no humans. No humans? No, and there haven't been in years. By the way, your call is important to us, so stay on the line. <gasps> no humans? In here we've been worried about computers taking over. That happened long ago. But don't worry, your call will be answered in the order received. I get it now. You get rid of all the humans. You have them all trapped on hold. Trapped there for all eternity. Well, you won't get away with it. I'll stop you. I'll tell the world. If you would like to tell the world, press 8. If you would like to tell the world, press your zip code. If you would like to tell the world, press 8. If you would like to tell the world, 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 press your birthday. If you would like to tell the world, press your birthday. They don't want to be on hold. They don't want to press anything to do anything. Just stop it off the music. Stop! Stop! Huh? Garfield, can't you hear the door? Go answer it. <gasps> Your call is important to us, so stay on the line. Your call will be answered in the order received. About time you answered. I just wanted to tell you your cable TV was out, but we fixed it. You get any more trouble, call us at this number. Press 1 for tech support. Press 2 to schedule an appointment. Press 3 to cancel or reason. No, no, it's a trick. Y you're trying to enslave us all. Well, you won't get me. I won't get trapped on hold for the rest of my life. You can't fool me. You won't answer my call in the order received. No! Hmm, Garfield hasn't been acting like himself lately. I better take him into Liz's office for a checkup. To continue this call in English, press 1. To speak to Liz, the veterinarian, press 3, 6. To hear our office hours, press 8. To return to the opening menu and start all over again, press 2. To continue this call in English, press 1.